and welcome to the Camwax Creative Space. My name is SJ and today I am demonstrating how easy it is to make foaming hand soap at home with our Castile soap base or any other liquid soap. I have put links in the description of all the items we are using here today as well as the basic formula. Let's look at what you need. A foamer bottle and foaming cap, some liquid soap, water, colorant which is optional, and essential oil or fragrance. So let's start with our container. It's actually the foaming cap which is the most important element here. Its mechanism is what creates the foamy soap when pumped. You can reuse these bottles and pumps, but if the foaming cap seems to be a bit stiff or not recoiling, just soak it in warm water for a few minutes and run plain water through the pump. Our 250 ml bottles come in a variety of colors as do the foaming caps. You can mix and match to get the look you want. A link is in the description below which will take you to the page on our website where you can order them. Today I am going to use our Castile soap base. This soap base is made from water and potassium hydroxide mixed with a variety of oils including coconut, olive, castor, argan, jojoba and hemp as well as some vegetable glycerin. You will note there are no sulfates in this mix. This is pure soap. But if you have something in your house already, perhaps a shower gel or a hand wash or even dish detergent if making this for your dishes, you can use anything. Really all foaming soap is, is watered down liquid soap with the action of the foaming pump. So let's make some soap. Now your bottle may not look like mine, so adapt the recipe to fit your bottle. But basically we're going to mix one part soap base to three to four parts of water. It doesn't have to be super exact, but if we put too much soap in, it will be difficult to pump, and if not enough soap, it'll be very thin and won't feel very creamy or soapy. If using our Castile soap, it is very thin by nature, but also very potent. This bottle is about 250 ml, so I'll be using about 50 grams of soap and 200 grams of water. If you have a kitchen scale, you'll add about 50 to 60 grams, but if no scale, don't worry, just eyeball it and fill it to about a quarter full, or in the case of these funny shaped bottles, one inch of soap should do it. And that's all the soap base you need. So now let's add the water. At home I just use the water from the tap, which in my case is from a well. I find the municipal water here at Camwax has a slight chlorine aroma, so I'm using bottled distilled water. I'm going to leave about a half inch from the top empty so that you have some room for your scent or color, and also the foamer cap can fit in without spilling the soap out the bottle, and also a little bit of room so you can shake up all the ingredients. The next step is optional. I'm adding some liquid dye. If you have some food coloring at home, that will work as well. Here I am using our purple DNC. Just for your information, DNC stands for drugs and cosmetics, and FDNC is for food, drugs, and cosmetics. In the one soap, I just used two drops here just to give it a hint of color, and in this picture, I used eight drops of dye. If you do put lots of the color in there, you might get colored bubbles, so just watch out. As the Castile soap starts off transparent, you can get a really vibrant color for your soap. But if you're using an opaque soap, like the hand soap that we have here, you will end up with a pastel version. Our Castile soap does not have any additives to mask the smell of the soap, so I do suggest adding some aroma. If you are using another hand soap or shower gel, it may already be scented. I recommend using essential oils, but you can use a skin safe fragrance. They're trying to get the kids to wash their hands more often. Maybe our banana popsicle, monkey farts, or even bubble gum might appeal to them. Do note though that some fragrances can make the soap go cloudy. If you are using an amber bottle, you don't need to worry about this. There are essential oils that are considered antibacterial, such as tea tree, but just the act of using soap and washing our hands for a reasonable amount of time, and I think we're all familiar now with the sing happy birthday twice, um, that alone makes all soap antibacterial. Today I'm going to use lavender 4042 essential oil, and the question is, how much should I use? So if the total of this soap is 250 grams, that's the base and the water, then you can use about five grams of fragrance or essential oil. Again, if no scale, one teaspoon of scent would be good. I prefer to go with my nose, so I'll only put in half of that in the first part and then judge if it's strong enough. So start with half a teaspoon. In my demonstration here, I actually put in about 30 drops of the essential oil and it smells great. Let's finish off by putting the foamer cap on the bottle and giving everything a gentle shake. We want the color and the scent to mix throughout. Now, time to enjoy your soap. 
If you found today's video helpful, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining us today and cheers.